Honeywell International Inc. is an American multinational conglomerate company that produces commercial and consumer products, engineering services and aerospace systems. The company operates four business units, known as Strategic Business Units, Honeywell Aerospace, Home and Building Technologies HBT, Safety and Productivity Solutions SPS, and Honeywell Performance Materials and Technologies. Honeywell is a Fortune 100 company. In 2018, Honeywell ranked 77th in the Fortune 500. Honeywell has a global workforce of approximately 130,000, of whom approximately 58,000 are employed in the United States. The company is headquartered in Charlotte, North Carolina. Its current chief executive officer is Darius Autumnchik. The company and its corporate predecessors were part of the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index from December 7, 1925, until February 9, 2008. The company's current name, Honeywell International Inc., is the product of a merger in which Honeywell Inc. was acquired by the much larger Allied Signal in 1999. The company headquarters were consolidated with Allied Signal's headquarters in Morristown, New Jersey, however the combined company chose the name, Honeywell because of its superior brand recognition. In 2015, the headquarters were moved to Morris Plains. On November 30, 2018, Honeywell announced that its corporate headquarters would be moved to Charlotte, North Carolina. On July 1, 2019, Honeywell moved employees into a temporary headquarters building in Charlotte before their new building was complete. Honeywell has many brands that commercial and retail consumers may recognize, including its line of home thermostats, particularly the iconic round type and Garrett turbochargers. In addition to consumer home products, Honeywell produces thermostats, sensors, security alarm systems, and air cleaners and dehumidifiers. The company also licenses its brand name for use in various retail products made by other manufacturers, including air conditioners, heaters, fans, security safes, home generators, and paper shredders. Topic. History Topic. 1885 to 1927 early years Although Mark Honeywell's heating specialty company was not established until 1906 today's Honeywell traces its roots back to 1885 when the Swiss-born Albert Butz invented the damper flapper a thermostat for coal furnaces to automatically regulate heating systems The following year he founded the Butz Thermoelectric Regulator Company in 1888, after a falling out with his investors, Butts left the company and transferred the patents to the legal firm Paul, Sanford, and Merwin, who renamed the company the Consolidated Temperature Controlling Company. As the years passed, CTCC struggled with growing debts, and they underwent several name changes in an attempt to keep the business afloat. After the company was renamed to the Electric Heat Regulator Company in 1893, W.R. Sweat, a stockholder in the company, was sold an extensive list of patents, and named Secretary Treasurer, 22 on February 23, 1898, he bought out the remaining shares of the company from the other stockholders. In 1906, Mark Honeywell founded the Honeywell Heating Specialty Company in Wabash, Indiana, to manufacture and market his invention, the Mercury Seal Generator. As Honeywell's company grew, thanks in part to the acquisition of Jewel Manufacturing Company in 1922 to better automate his heating system, it began to clash with the renamed Minneapolis Heat Regulator Company. This led to the merging of both companies into the publicly held Minneapolis Honeywell Regulator Company in 1927. Honeywell was named the company's first president, alongside W.R. Sweat as its first chairman. Topic. 1927 to 1985 expansion W. R. Sweat and his son Harold provided 75 years of uninterrupted leadership for the company. W. R. Sweat survived rough spots and turned an innovative idea, thermostatic heating control, into a thriving business. Harold, who took over in 1934, led Honeywell through a period of growth and global expansion that set the stage for Honeywell to become a global technology leader. The merger into the Minneapolis Honeywell Regulator Company proved to be a saving grace for the corporation. 
The combined assets were valued at over $3.5 million, with less than $1 million in liabilities just months before Black Monday. 49 In 1931, Minneapolis Honeywell began a period of expansion and acquisition when they purchased Time O Stat Controls Company, giving the company access to a greater number of patents to be used in their control systems. 1934 marked Minneapolis Honeywell's first foray into the international market, when they acquired the Brown Instrument Company, and inherited their relationship with the Yamatake Company of Tokyo, a Japan-based distributor. 51 later that same year, Minneapolis Honeywell would also start distributorships across Canada, as well as one in the Netherlands, their first European office. This expansion into international markets continued in 1936, with their first distributorship in London, as well as their first foreign assembly facility being established in Canada. By 1937, ten years after the merger, Minneapolis Honeywell had over 3,000 employees, with $16 million in annual revenue. Having survived the Depression, Minneapolis Honeywell was approached by the U.S. military for engineering and manufacturing projects. In 1941, Minneapolis Honeywell developed a superior tank periscope and camera stabilizers, as well as the C-1 autopilot. The C-1 revolutionized precision bombing in the war effort, and was used on the 2B-29 bombers that dropped atomic bombs on Japan in 1945. The success of these projects led Minneapolis Honeywell to open an aero division in Chicago on October 5, 1942. 73 This division was responsible for the development of the formation stick to control autopilots, more accurate gas gauges for planes, and the turbo supercharger. 79 In 1950, Minneapolis Honeywell's aero division was contracted for the controls on the first U.S. nuclear submarine, USS Nautilus. 88 The following year, the company acquired Intervox Company for for their sonar, ultrasonics, and telemetry technologies. Honeywell also helped develop and manufacture the RUR-5 ASROC for the U.S. Navy. In 1953, in cooperation with the USAF Wright Air Development Center, Honeywell developed an automated control unit that could control an aircraft through various stages of a flight, from taxiing, to takeoff, to the point where the aircraft neared its destination and the pilot took over for landing. Called the Automatic Master Sequence Selector, the onboard control operated similarly to a player piano to relay instructions to the aircraft's autopilot at certain waypoints during the flight, significantly reducing the pilot's workload. Technologically, this effort had parallels to contemporary efforts in missile guidance and numerical control. Honeywell also developed the Wagtail missile with the USAF. From the 1950s until the mid-1970s, Honeywell was the United States importer of Japanese company Asahi Optical's Pentax cameras and photographic equipment. 153 These products were labeled Highland Pentax and Honeywell Pentax in the U.S. In 1953, Honeywell introduced their most famous product, the T86 round thermostat, 110. In 1961, James H. Binger became Honeywell's president and in 1965 its chairman. On becoming chairman of Honeywell, Binger revamped the company sales approach, placing emphasis on profits rather than on volume. He also stepped up the company's international expansion, it had six plants producing 12% of the company's revenue. He also officially changed the company's corporate name from Minneapolis Honeywell Regulator Co. to Honeywell, to better represent their colloquial name. Throughout the 1960s, Honeywell continued to acquire other businesses, including Security Burglar Alarm Company in 1969. 130 The beginning of the 1970s saw Honeywell focus on process controls, with the company merging their computer operations with GE's information systems in 1970, and later acquiring GE's process control business. 122 With the acquisition, Honeywell took over responsibility for GE's ongoing Multics operating system project. The design and features of Multics greatly influenced the Unix operating system. Multics also influenced many of the features of Honeywell, GE's Jekos and GCOS8 General Comprehensive Operating System operating systems. Honeywell, Group Bull, and Control Data Corporation formed a joint venture in Magnetic Peripherals Inc. which became a major player in the hard disk drive market. It was the worldwide leader in 14-inch disk drive technology in the OEM marketplace in the 1970s and early 1980s especially with its SMD storage module drive and CMD cartridge module drive. 
In the second half of the 1970s, Honeywell started to look to international markets again, acquiring the French company Internationale pour l'informatique in 1976. 124 Eight years later, Honeywell formed Honeywell High Tech Trading to lease their foreign marketing and distribution to other companies abroad, in order to establish a better position in those markets. 147 Under Binger's stewardship from 1961 to 1978, he expanded the company into such fields as defense, aerospace, and computing. During and after the Vietnam era, Honeywell's defense division produced a number of products, including cluster bombs, missile guidance systems, napalm, and land mines. Minnesota Honeywell Corporation completed flight tests on an inertia guidance subsystem for the X-20 project at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, utilizing an NF-101B Voodoo by August 1963. The X-20 project was canceled in December 1963. The Honeywell Project, founded in 1968, organized protests against the company to persuade it to abandon weapons production in 1980. Honeywell bought Incoderm Corporation to compete in both the airline reservation system networks and bank teller markets. In year 1975, Honeywell introduced the world's first total distributed control system TDC 2000 that revolutionized the entire process control industry with a centralized view of decentralized control and a fully redundant communication link for continuous processes. Honeywell further introduced a state-of-the-art total distributed control system 3000 or TDC 3000 in 1985. The new TDC-3000 system adopted a brand new architecture that allowed the existing TDC-2000 system to be integrated with the new system as well as future expansion through a new in-house developed network operating system for performing various plant-wide control, monitoring, alarming, reporting, and historical date storage and retrieval functions. A new modular controller, Process Manager, was introduced in a later date that included advanced control strategies and modeling as part of the new TDC-3000 system. TDC-3000 system was the backbone of Honeywell Industrial Solutions for petroleum, petrochem, fine chemical, pulp and paper, power gen, and many other industries. Along with TDC systems, Honeywell also developed a digital communication protocol to allow Honeywell's smart transmitters family of products to interface with TDC system in a non-ambiguous digital mode that delivered Honeywell's commitment of total system integration from sensors to boardroom. Topic. Honeywell Information Systems On April 12, 1955, Minneapolis Honeywell started a joint venture with Raytheon called Datamatic to enter the computer market and compete with IBM. 118 Two years later in 1957, their first computer, the Datamatic 1000 was sold and installed. In 1960, just five years after embarking on this venture with Raytheon, Minneapolis Honeywell bought out Raytheon's interest in Datamatic and turned it into the Electronic Data Processing Division, later Honeywell Information Systems his, of Minneapolis Honeywell. 118 Honeywell also purchased Minicomputer Pioneer Computer Control Corporation 3Cs in 1966, renaming it as Honeywell's Computer Control Division. Through most of the 1960s, Honeywell was one of the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs of computing. IBM was Snow White, while the Dwarfs were the seven significantly smaller computer companies Burroughs, Control Data Corporation, General Electric, Honeywell, NCR, RCA, and Univac. Later, when their number had been reduced to five, they were known as the Bunch. After their initials, Burroughs, Univac, NCR, Control Data Corporation, and Honeywell. In 1970 Honeywell acquired GE's computer business forming Honeywell Information Systems. In 1975 it purchased Xerox Data Systems, whose Sigma computers had a small but loyal customer base. In 1986 his merged with Group Bull, a global joint venture with Company des Machines Bull of France and NEC Corporation of Japan to become Honeywell Bull. By 1991 Honeywell was no longer involved in the computer business. Topic. 1985 to 1999 integration Topic Aerospace and Defense 1986 marked a new direction for Honeywell, beginning with the acquisition of Sperry Aerospace. 
In 1990, Honeywell spun off their defense and marine systems business into Alliant Tech Systems, as well as their test instruments division and signal analysis center to streamline the company's focus. Honeywell continues to supply aerospace products including electronic guidance systems, cockpit instrumentation, lighting, and primary propulsion and secondary power turbine engines. In 1996, Honeywell acquired Duracraft and began marketing its products in the home comfort sector. Honeywell is in the consortium that runs the Pantex plant that assembles all of the nuclear bombs in the United States arsenal. Honeywell Federal Manufacturing and Technologies, successor to the defense products of Allied Signal, operates the Kansas City plant which produces and assembles 85% of the non-nuclear components of the bombs. Topic home and building controls Honeywell also began the Smart House project to combine heating, cooling, security, lighting, and appliances into one easily controlled system. They continued the trend in 1987 by releasing new security systems, and fire and radon detectors. Five years later, in another streamlining effort, Honeywell combined their residential controls, commercial systems, and protection services divisions into home and building control, which then acquired the Enviracare air cleaner business. 183 by 1995, Honeywell had condensed into three divisions, space and aviation control, home and building control, and industrial control. Topic Industrial Control Honeywell dissolved its partnership with Yamatake Company and consolidated its Process Control Products Division, Process Management System Division, and Micro Switch Division into one industrial control group. It has further acquired Mesrix System and Leeds and Northrop Company to strengthen its portfolio. Topic 1999-2002, Takeovers Topic. Allied Signal and Pitway On June 7, 1999, Honeywell was acquired by Allied Signal, who elected to retain the Honeywell name for its brand recognition. The former Honeywell moved their headquarters of 114 years to Allied Signals in Morristown, N.J. While, technically, the deal looks more like an acquisition than a merger, from a strategic standpoint, it is a merger of equals. Allied Signal's 1998 revenue was reported at $15.1 billion to Honeywell's $8.4 billion, but together the companies share huge business interests in aerospace, chemical products, automotive parts, and building controls. In 2000, the new Honeywell acquired Pitway for $2.2 billion to gain a greater share of the fire protection and security systems market, and merged it into their home and building control division, taking on Pitway's $167 million in debt. Analyst David Jarrett commented that, while Honeywell offered a hefty premium, it's still getting Pitway for a bargain. At $45.50 per share, despite closing at $29 the week before. Pitway's Ademco products complemented Honeywell's existing unified control systems. Topic. General Electric Company In October 2000, Honeywell then valued at over $21 billion accepted a takeover bid from then-CEO Jack Welch of General Electric. The American Department of Justice cleared the merger, while GE teams swooped down on Honeywell. And GE executives took over budget planning and employee reviews. However, on July 3, 2001, the European Commission's Competition Commissioner, Mario Monti blocked the move. This decision was taken on the grounds that with GE's dominance of the large jet engine market led by the General Electric CF-34 turbofan engine, its leasing services GECAS, and Honeywell's portfolio of regional jet engines and avionics, the new company would be able to bundle products and stifle competition through the creation of a horizontal monopoly. U.S. regulators disagreed, finding that the merger would improve competition and reduce prices. United States Assistant Attorney General Charles James called the EU's decision antithetical to the goals of antitrust law enforcement. This led to a drop in morale and general tumult throughout Honeywell, and in turn, the then CEO Michael Bonsignori was fired as Honeywell looked to turn their business around.
Topic: 2002 present, acquisitions and further expansion. The current Honeywell International Inc. is the product of a merger between Allied Signal and Honeywell Inc. Although Allied Signal was twice the size of Honeywell, the combined company chose the name Honeywell because of its superior brand recognition. However, the corporate headquarters were consolidated to Allied Signal's headquarters in Morristown, New Jersey, rather than Honeywell's former headquarters in Minneapolis, Minnesota. When Honeywell closed its corporate headquarters in Minneapolis, over 1,000 employees lost their jobs. A few moved to Morristown or other company locations, but the majority were forced to find new jobs or retire. Soon after the merger, the company's stock fell significantly, and did not return to its pre-merger level until 2007. In January 2002 Nor Brems, who had been operating in a joint venture with Honeywell International Inc. assumed full ownership of its ventures in Europe, Brazil, and the USA. Bendix Commercial Vehicle Systems became a subsidiary of Nor Brems AG. Although declining in influence, Honeywell maintains a presence in emerging industries, such as Northern Alberta's oil sands. Honeywell's plant integrator is currently deployed in some of the most important plant sites in the oil sands Syncrude, Suncor, and others. In February that year, Honeywell's board appointed their next CEO and chairman, David M. Coate. Coate was instrumental in uniting the company cultures of Honeywell, Allied Signal, and Pitway. Since 2002, Honeywell has made more than 80 acquisitions and 60 divestures, while adding $12 billion in new sales and increasing its labor force to 131,000 as a result of these acquisitions. Under his tenure, Honeywell's stock has nearly tripled from $35.23 in April 2002 to $99.39 as of January 2015. Honeywell made a £1.2 billion, .3 billion bid for Novar PLC in December 2004. The acquisition was finalized on March 31, 2005. In October 2005, Honeywell bought out Dow's 50% stake in UOP for $825 million, giving them complete control over the joint venture in petrochemical and refining technology. In May 2010, Honeywell outbid UK-based Synvin and acquired the French company Spurian Protection for $1.4 billion, which was then incorporated into its automation and controls safety unit. Honeywell moved its international headquarters from Morristown to Morris Plains in October 2015. The 475,000 square foot building on 40 acres in Morris Plains features state of the art technology and greater energy efficiency than Honeywell's Morristown campus, which was underutilized, outdated, and costly, according to Cote. On December 29, 2015, Honeywell completed the acquisition of Elster for US$5.1 billion United States dollars announced on July 28, 2015 entering the space of gas electricity and water meters with a specific focus on smart meters and hoped to be a growth driver for Honeywell in 2016 and beyond. The deal also complements the Hun combustion business with the addition of Elster with strong brands such as Kromschroder and Eclipse. Honeywell International Inc. then acquired the 30% stake in UOP Russell LLC it didn't own already for roughly $240 million in January 2016. In February, Honeywell entered into a definitive agreement to acquire X Trolleys, a leading global provider of aspirating smoke detection along with advanced perimeter security technologies and video analytics software, for $480 million from funds advised by Pacific Equity Partners and Bloom Capital Partners. The deal was completed on April 1, 2016. In May 2016, Honeywell International Inc. settled its patent dispute regarding Google subsidiary Nest Labs, whose thermostats Honeywell claimed infringed on several of its patents. Google parent Alphabet Inc. and Honeywell said they reached a patent cross-license agreement that fully resolves the long-standing dispute. Honeywell sued Nest Labs in 2012. On September 12, 2016, Morris Plain, NJ-based Honeywell announced that it would invest $20 million in the first-of-its-kind software development center and relocate the headquarters of its nearly $10 billion home and building technologies division from suburban Minneapolis to Atlanta. 
The expansion will add more than 800 jobs. David Coates stepped down as CEO on April 1, 2017, and was succeeded by Darius Autumnchik, who had been promoted to President and Chief Operating Officer (COO) the previous year. Coates served as executive chairman through April 2018. On October 10, 2017, Honeywell announced plans to spin off its homes, Audi Global Distribution, and transportation systems businesses into two separate, publicly traded companies by the end of 2018. For the fiscal year 2017, Honeywell reported earnings of US$1.933 billion, with an annual revenue of US$40.534 billion, an increase of 3.1% over the previous fiscal cycle. Honeywell's shares traded at over $131 per share, and its market capitalization was valued at over US$108.1 billion in October 2018. Topic. Business units Honeywell International is divided into five strategic business groups SBG, Honeywell Aerospace, Home and Building Technologies, Safety and Productivity Solutions, Honeywell Performance Materials and Technologies, and Honeywell Connected Enterprise. Within SBGs are Strategic Business Units SBU. Topic Aerospace Honeywell Aerospace is a global provider of integrated avionics, engines, systems and service solutions for aircraft manufacturers, airlines, business and general aviation, military, space and airport operations. Its commercial aviation, defense and space and business and general aviation business units serve aircraft manufacturers, airlines, business and general aviation, military, space and airport operations. In January 2014, Honeywell Aerospace launched its SmartPath Precision Landing System at Malaga Costa del Sol Airport in Spain, which augments GPS signals to make them suitable for precision approach and landing, before broadcasting the data to approaching aircraft. In July 2014, Honeywell's transportation systems merged with the aerospace division due to similarities between the businesses. In April 2018, Honeywell announced to develop laser communication products for satellite communication in collaboration with Ball Aerospace and plans future volume production. Topic: Commercial Aviation. The Honeywell Commercial Aviation Business Unit creates products for large commercial and regional aircraft such as Auxiliary Power Units APIS, Aircraft Environmental Control Systems, Electric Power Systems, Engine System Accessories, Flight Data and Cockpit Voice Recorders, Air Traffic Management Solutions, Radar, Navigation and Communication Systems, Aircraft Lighting, Wheels and Brakes. Topic Defense and Space Honeywell Defense and Space Business Unit creates products such as the Honeywell RQ-16T Hawk for the military and space markets including propulsion engines, APIS, environmental control systems, electric power systems, avionics and flight management systems, radar, navigation and communication systems, inertial sensors, guidance systems, gyroscopes. It also provides logistics services, including depot maintenance and prepositioning, and space systems operations for engineering, designing, fabricating, installing, operating, and maintaining satellite command and control systems. Topic business and General Aviation Honeywell Business and General Aviation Business Units products include aircraft lighting, auxiliary power units, cabin entertainment, cockpit displays, communication, navigation and surveillance, flight management systems, and propulsion engines. The business group offers services such as flight planning, planning and scheduling, and maintenance and monitoring. Topic. Transportation Systems Honeywell Transportation Systems produces engine boosting turbochargers for passenger cars and commercial vehicles. Topic. Home and Building Technologies Honeywell HBT was created when the SBG Automation and Control Solutions was split into two new SBGs, HBT and Safety and Productivity Solutions, in July 2016. On December 7, 2017, Honeywell announced that it has acquired Scheme, an Italy-based company, to add new fire and gas safety capabilities to its portfolio.
Topic: <laughs> Honeywell Building Solutions. Honeywell Building Solutions HBS products and services provide energy efficiency and security in buildings and communities. Smart grid, microgrid and on-site power generation, integrated security, building controls, automation, and management, system service, maintenance and optimization, and smart building are examples of the technologies produced by the HBS business unit. HBS optimizes automation technology, designs and delivers microgrids that provide energy security, and delivers demand response and energy efficiency programs to help utilities and the electrical grid operate optimally. In June 2016, Honeywell announced a new release of its building management system, Enterprise Buildings Integrator EBI, to support the Middle East region's smart building and cities ambitions. In a statement, Honeywell said that EBI R500 leverages the connectivity of today's buildings to help make them more strategic assets that are green, safe and productive. Honeywell smart homes serve customers worldwide to control technologies for buildings, homes and industry, turbochargers, and performance materials. We are building a smarter, safer, and more sustainable world. Topic. Environmental and energy solutions Honeywell Environmental and Energy Solutions serves industrial and consumer customers. Products include air quality, commercial combustion, commercial components, industrial components, home thermostats including smart and Wi-Fi thermostats, residential combustion, whole house air quality, whole house water treatment and control, HVAC zoning, and hydronic heating. Topic. Honeywell Security and Fire Honeywell Security and Fire manufactures electronic security systems, intrusion detection systems, and fire alarms for commercial businesses. They also manufacture products that cover commercial fire alarm and emergency communication systems as well as fire detection and notification devices. The first alert professional brand was acquired by Honeywell. The brand was originally owned by Pitway Corp which franchised a network of independently owned security and fire alarm dealers in the Western Hemisphere from the early 1990s known as First Alert Professional Security Systems. For two decades, First Alert Professional branded private labeled security and fire alarm panels and keypads were manufactured by Ademco, Inc., now owned by Honeywell. Topic. Safety and productivity solutions Honeywell SPS was created when the SBG Automation and Control Solutions was split into two new SBGs, Home and Building Technologies and Safety and Productivity Solutions, in July 2016. Topic scanning and mobility products in Honeywell Scanning and Mobility HSM include mobile computers and barcode scanners, radio frequency identification solutions, voice-enabled workflow and printing solutions. In 2013, Honeywell completed the acquisition of Intermic, which included the Vocalect and Enterprise Mobile brands, and integrated them into Honeywell Scanning and Mobility. Topic. Sensing and Internet of Things Honeywell Sensing and Internet of Things Honeywell CO produces over 50,000 products ranging from snap action, limit, toggle and pressure switches to position, speed and airflow sensors. Topic. Industrial safety Honeywell Industrial Safety produces fixed and portable gas detection systems and personal protective equipment, including, protective clothing, fall and hearing protection products, solutions that protect hands, head, feet, eyes and face, first responder gear, turnout gear, EMS, helmets, gloves, boots and hoods, along with respiratory, welding, first aid, lockout, tagout and traffic safety equipment. Brands include ExtraTuff. Topic. Performance materials and technologies The Honeywell Performance Materials and Technologies Strategic Business Group is divided into six business units. 
Products include process technology for oil and gas processing, fuels, films and additives, special chemicals, electronic materials, and renewable transport fuels. Topic. Honeywell UOP Honeywell UOP is a wholly owned subsidiary of Honeywell International Inc. and is part of Honeywell's Performance Materials and Technologies Strategic Business Group. Honeywell UOP is an international supplier and licensor of process technology, catalysts, adsorbents, process plants, and consulting services to the petroleum refining, petrochemical, and gas processing industries. Topic. Honeywell Process Solutions Honeywell Process Solutions offers automation control solutions to customers internationally. It serves the process and hybrid industries, including refining, oil and gas, pulp and paper, mining, minerals and metals, bulk and batch chemicals, petrochemicals, pharmaceuticals, power transmission and distribution, and power generation. The business unit also has a global metering business following the acquisition of Elster Metering in 2015. Topic. Fluorine products Honeywell Fluorine products produces refrigerants, foam insulation blowing agents, aerosols, and solvents. Topic. Electronic materials Honeywell Electronic Materials manufactures and supplies the semiconductor industry with electronic chemicals, electronic polymers, targets coil sets and metals, advanced packaging, and thermocouples. Topic resins and chemicals Honeywell Resins and Chemicals sells chemical intermediates, including phenol, cyclohexanone and acetone. It is also a major producer of ammonium sulfate fertilizer, a co-product of caprolactam production, which is sold under the Sulfen brand. This division was spun off as Advansix in 2016. Topic. Specialty materials Honeywell specialty materials products include specialty films and additives, advanced fibers and composites, intermediates, specialty chemicals, and technologies and materials for petroleum refining. Topic. Corporate governance Current as of April 23, 2018 Topic. Products and services A more extensive list of products is available at List of Honeywell Products and Services. Topic. Aircraft Honeywell RQ-16T Hawk Topic. Missiles and rockets RUR-5 ASROC Wagtail missile. Topic. Honeywell scanning and mobility Honeywell AIDC products Intermic products Topic. Acquisitions Honeywell's acquisitions have consisted largely of businesses aligned with the company's existing technologies. The acquired companies are integrated into one of Honeywell's four business groups Aerospace, Home and Building Technologies HBT, Safety and Productivity Solutions SPS, or Performance Materials and Technologies PMT, but retain their original brand name. Topic. Environmental record The United States Environmental Protection Agency states that no corporation has been linked to a greater number of Superfund toxic waste sites than has Honeywell. 
Honeywell ranks 44th in a list of U.S. corporations most responsible for air pollution, releasing more than 4.25 million kilograms .4 million pounds of toxins per year into the air. In 2001, Honeywell agreed to pay $150,000 in civil penalties and to perform $772,000 worth of reparations for environmental violations involving Failure to prevent or repair leaks of hazardous organic pollutants into the air Failure to repair or report refrigeration equipment containing chlorofluorocarbons Inadequate reporting of benzene, ammonia, nitrogen oxide, dichlorodifluoromethane, sulfuric acid, sulfur dioxide, and caprolactam emissions. In 2003, a federal judge in Newark, New Jersey, ordered the company to perform an estimated $400 million environmental remediation of chromium waste, citing a substantial risk of imminent damage to public health and safety and imminent and severe damage to the environment. In the same year, Honeywell paid $3.6 million to avoid a federal trial regarding its responsibility for trichloroethylene contamination in Lyle, Illinois. In 2004, the state of New York announced that it would require Honeywell to complete an estimated $448 million cleanup of more than 74,000 kilograms pounds of mercury and other toxic waste dumped into Onondaga Lake in Syracuse, New York from a former Allied chemical property. Honeywell established three water treatment plants by November 2014, and the chemicals cleanup site removed seven tons of mercury. In November 2015, Audubon New York gave the Thomas W. Kesey Jr. Conservation Award to Honeywell for its cleanup efforts in one of the most ambitious environmental reclamation projects in the United States. By December 2017, Honeywell completed dredging the lake and, later that month, the Department of Justice filed a settlement requiring Honeywell to pay a separate $9.5 million in damages, as well build 20 restoration projects on the shore to help repair the greater area surrounding the lake. In 2000. Five, the state of New Jersey sued Honeywell, Occidental Petroleum, and PPG to compel cleanup of more than 100 sites contaminated with chromium, a metal linked to lung cancer, ulcers, and dermatitis. In 2008, the state of Arizona made a settlement with Honeywell to pay a $5 million fine and contribute $1 million to a local air quality cleanup project. After allegations of breaking water quality and hazardous waste laws on hundreds of occasions between the years of 1974 and 2004, in 2006, Honeywell announced that its decision to stop manufacturing mercury switches had resulted in reductions of more than 11,300 kilograms, 2,800 kilograms, and 1 1,500 kilograms respectively of mercury, lead, and chromic acid usage. The largest reduction represents 5% of mercury use in the United States. The EPA acknowledged Honeywell's leadership in reducing mercury use through a 2006 National Partnership for Environmental Priorities NPEP Achievement Award for discontinuing the manufacturing of mercury switches. Topic. Criticism On March 10, 2013, the WSJ reported that Honeywell was one of 60 companies that shielded annual profits from U.S. taxes. In December 2011, the nonpartisan liberal organization Public Campaign criticized Honeywell International for spending $18.3 million on lobbying and not paying any taxes during 2008-2010, instead getting $34 million in tax rebates, despite making a profit of $4.9 billion, laying off 968 workers since 2008, and increasing executive pay by 15% to $54.2 million in 2010 for its top five executives. Honeywell has also been criticized in the past for its manufacture of deadly and maiming weapons, such as cluster bombs. Topic. See also Honeywell Aerospace Honeywell Turbo Technologies Top 100 U.S. Federal Contractors List of Honeywell Products and Services equals equals notes